just listen to what he has to say. Turns out that the detox diets themselves don't do anything to remove toxins from your body. They do not remove toxins from your body. You might be bombarded with advice on detoxing to solve these woes, but is it all it's cracked up to be? Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we'll be setting the record straight with Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned physician and author of Eat to Beat Disease. Dr. Lee isn't just any doctor. He's a pioneer in understanding how our bodies build the blood vessels that keep us healthy. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of detoxification, but with a scientific twist. Dr. Lee will be separating fact from fiction when it comes to detox diets and trends. We'll explore the truth about your body's natural detox champions, your liver and kidneys. Learn how these incredible organs work tirelessly to keep you healthy and discover how to support them with the right dietary choices. So, ditch the fad diets and get ready to uncover the science behind true detoxification. Let Dr. Lee guide you towards a healthier and more vibrant you naturally. Here's Dr. Lee to tell us about the body's organs which do all of the heavy lifting when it comes to detoxing your body. You boys listen to what he's got to say. Your body actually is hardwired to remove toxins all by itself. Here's how it actually works. Your liver is a powerful detoxifying organ that removes virtually all harmful chemicals from your body. It breaks them down, it eliminates them. Your kidneys filter your blood, it produces urine, which you pee out, and often you can pee out stuff that's accumulated in your body as well. Those are two ways that your body uses to detoxify your liver, okay, and your kidneys. And that's why, by the way, if you have liver disease or kidney disease, Oftentimes, toxins do build up in your bloodstream, but really, those organs are the ones that should do all the heavy lifting. There are some toxins which get into the body which are hard to get rid of, which Dr. Lee will describe now. Now, there are some toxins that are not so easy to get rid of, even though your body does a pretty good job to eventually get rid of a lot of it. And some of them are toxic, like heavy metals, like lead or cadmium or mercury. You can get these from foods that absorb a lot of these heavy metals from the ground or if there's if they're growing in contaminated environments. Some chocolates are like this, very high in heavy metals. Or seafoods that are high in the food chain, if you eat a lot of it, if you eat a lot of tuna, if you eat a lot of swordfish, for example, heavy metals will accumulate in your body fat. But even then, most of it gets eliminated over time and flushed out of your body. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Here is Dr. Lee to tell what detox diets actually do. All right, so here's the thing. Your body does all the heavy lifting and there's no evidence that the detox diets themselves actually break down or remove toxins that have accumulated in your body. So, what do the detox diets actually do? Well, here's the truth. A detox diet keeps you from building up new toxins in your body, and partly it's because they stop you from eating unhealthy foods. So, by going onto a plant-based whole food diet, and specifically, they are removing, these detox diets are removing from you ultra-processed foods that contain artificial preservatives and additives. You're eating less toxic material to begin with. So less toxins in gives your body a chance to naturally remove the toxins that are there without more buildup. Most detox diets also remove alcohol from your diet. Okay, now what does alcohol do? Alcohol is a toxin for your liver. So when your liver is compromised by drinking alcohol, guess what? You, your blood starts to build up more toxin because your liver doesn't function as well as it should. Out with the alcohol in a detox diet, your liver will recover. Liver is a really regenerative organ and it regains its detoxifying capacity. So yes, um, uh, by removing alcohol, you're allowing the liver to recover and then to do its thing, all right? The third thing is that detox diets give people permission to focus on their health. If you're somebody who's going on a detox diet, Chances are that you're, you know, you've decided it's time to put a little attention uh, to try to get healthier. So you're going to eat less. You're going to eat more healthy foods. You're going to drink more fluids that will flush uh, your blood. Uh, use your kidneys here. It's at their own advantage. And you're going to focus on becoming healthier. People who are naturally more focused on their health tend to have healthier behaviors and their body will respond accordingly and become healthier. By the way, 
An enema does nothing to remove toxins from your colon. So don't even go there. You don't need to get anybody to stick something up your butt in order to flush out toxins. That's not where toxins get cleaned out, all right? Now, an enema will uh, clean out your colon, but then, you know, that should be something you do before a colonoscopy to check for polyps and make sure that you don't have colon cancer, all right? Just remember, an enema does not flush out accumulated toxins because your poop doesn't accumulate toxins that need to be flushed out in order for better health. It'll help you detox. Thank you, Dr. Lee. What can we do to detox our body? Okay, so what's the best way to achieve a detox diet? Whether you go onto a, uh, a prescripted diet or not, here's my recommendations. Number one, if you wanna actually just be healthier overall and it lets your body do all the work to detoxify, all right? Here's what you do, switch your diet away from ultra processed foods to whole plant-based foods vegetables, fruits, okay, uh, legumes, nuts and seeds, healthy oils, that will actually be tremendously healthy for uh, to help your uh, body overall, your health defenses overall um, uh, get better. Uh, cut out the ultra processed foods and all those things that have artificial coloring, flavoring, preservatives, and additives, and emulsifiers. All those things actually interfere with your uh, health overall, and uh, so less toxins in, uh, the faster you can actually clean, your liver can, and lip, kidneys can clean out the toxins that are already there. Third, uh, stay diluted, all right? Drink water, tea, coffee. Those are all great ways to remain hydrated. The more fluid you have as part of the uh, start for your to help your liver push out and process those toxins in your kidney to eliminate them, the better it is. The key if you're drinking tea or coffee though is avoid sugar sweetening them or putting additives, you know, when you go to your favorite drive-by and you order your pumpkin flavored, whatever, don't do that. Enjoy tea straight, okay? Uh, that's what you would do at a spa. Do you want it on a detox diet or coffee straight? Okay, if you want to put a little bit of uh, something to cut the strong taste of coffee, use a nut-based um, milk, right? So almond milk, uh, oat milk, soy milk, those are actually fine, all right? Uh, and avoid soda. You definitely don't want to be drinking soda, whether it's regular soda or diet soda. Uh, just stay away from those when you actually want to clean out your body and help your body reset. Here's the other thing. Don't overeat. Don't overeat if you want to actually help your body clean itself out. All right. Stick to the uh, Confucian principle of Hara Hachi Banmi. Hara Hachi Banmi is a Japanese saying com coming from Confucian principles, which means stop eating before you are uh, stuffed, stop when you're about 80% full. When you eat slowly and you, uh, you, and you pay attention to how your body feels, you'll know when you're about 80% full. So your hunger is satisfied, but you're not feeling stuffed. Leave before the party's over. That's actually the best way so you don't overwhelm your metabolism with calories. All right? I gotta get in shape now. Too much sitting has ruined my body. Too much abuse has gone on for too long. I mean, no more bad food. No more destroyers of my body. Is there anything else we can do? If you want to push this a little bit further, try intermittent fasting. Now, we already do intermittent fasting every single day because when we're sleeping, we're not eating. When we're not eating, we're fasting. So we're always intermittently fasting. But if you actually want to push your health a little bit more, uh, you can actually try deliberate intermittent fasting. The traditional intermittent fasting program is 16 hours of fasting with eight hours of eating. Look, the research shows that if you just fast for 12 hours, half the day, and you eat for the other half of the day, which is a much more reasonable way actually to do this. That's something I can actually do. In fact, I do do that every single day. That's a, a healthier and easier, more practical way to actually practice intermittent fasting. All right. And when you're actually doing intermittent fasting, the key is that when you are uh, eating, you're going to be hungry. Don't overeat and don't eat junky food. All right. This is the way to let your body clean itself out naturally. By dilution with fluid, with your liver working uh, uh, on its own to be able to churn out um, and get rid of all the toxins and from your kidneys to be able to pee out anything that you shouldn't be accumulating in there. This is the most natural way to detox. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. 
Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.